I wanted to quickly answer that question on TGC. I think it's easier to do it um, by talking to you. I'm sorry that I'm clearly in my bedroom on <laughs> a Sunday night um, and I don't have a scanner on me, but hopefully this still makes sense. So TGC stands for Time Gain Compensation. So that just means it compensates for the fact that sound is attenuated with distance. Sound loses energy the further it travels, which makes sense, right? So you've got your monitor, you know you've got your distance markers down the side. Up here, you're close to your transducer, you've got a lot of energy, you've got a lot of echoes coming back, it's usually brighter up here. Down here, you've lost a lot of your sound energy, often it's very, very dark down here. If you just turn up your overall gain, all that's going to do is just make the bright bit even brighter and almost blinding, kind of like this light above me, you know, if it just turned it even brighter, you'd hardly be able to see my face anymore. If you use TGC, you can compensate just for the bits that you want. So often it's in this pattern because up here you don't need any extra gain, so it's just down. Down here, at the higher, uh, lower depths, you are going to need to increase the amount of gain, so you turn it up. So that's why they're often in that pattern. There are exceptions, so bladders, for example, you've all scanned hundreds of bladders by now, I hope, and I'm sure you've all noticed that. You have your nice dark bladder here, but underneath often is really, really bright. And that's because your scanner is assuming a uniform level of attenuation. So it assumes an amount for soft tissue. Now, if the sound is going through a liquid, it's hardly attenuating at all. It's very little energy is lost. So the scanner doesn't know that it's gone through a liquid. So underneath it's going to be really, really bright because there's going to be way more energy than the scanner has expected or has uh, calculated for. So in that instance you could use your TGC, you could just turn it down at that particular depth so that you can get a nice even brightness across your whole screen. So that's what you want to aim for. So um, you know, to ask uh, how do I set my TGC sliders, it's a difficult question to answer. It's kind of like saying how do I set my light dimmer. You know, it depends on how much you want to see, the brightness that you, that you want to see. So just aim for a uniform brightness across the whole image. I would say practice scanning um, with them all down, with them all up, with them in the middle, with them this way, with them that way. See the difference. You can immediately see the difference just by playing around with them. Get a bladder and try and practice compensating for that um, acoustic enhancement that you get past the bladder. Just get used to using them all the time because it's really important that you do. That You don't want to just leave them and have a, an image where there's bright bands here and there and then dark bits right here where you really want to see. You need to get used to using them. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that explains it. It's really a simpler concept than it probably looks. But just ask away if you've got any more questions.